Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them with the fire of your love. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Acts chapter 2 verses 1 to 4 This Sunday we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the Apostles who were full of fear in the upper room in Jerusalem and were gripped by a terrible sense of failure and inadequacy. At Pentecost, a great task was entrusted to them, yet they had neither the will nor the strength to begin it. The Holy Spirit launched them into the world to do the most exciting and worthwhile work of all, to be witnesses to the resurrection of Jesus and to preach his gospel of salvation to all people. This Pentecost, the Holy Spirit comes to lead us into all truth. The Holy Spirit searches our hearts and will show us any areas of our life that are not what they should be. The Holy Spirit does not condemn but convinces us by gently and lovingly leading us along the path of honesty, truth, repentance and change. We are invited by the Holy Spirit to move into new realities of freedom, liberation and just living, a reality of the fullness of life beyond pain, suffering, wars, poverty and fear. Close your eyes and make this act of surrender to the Holy Spirit. I rest in you, Spirit of life. I place in you my feet, my legs, my torso, my arms, my shoulders, my head and allow you to support all that I am. I rest in you, Spirit of life, and give to you my worries, my fears, my doubts, my hopes, my joys, my pains, my anger, my love, my hate, and allow you to take in all that I am. Prayer Holy Spirit, we thank you for the special powers and abilities you have given to us. You are the source of the many different spiritual gifts that you distribute to believers so that we can help each other and build up the church. Empower us, we pray, with your gifts of teaching, miracles, healing, helping others, leadership and more. But most of all, empower us to love you with all our heart, soul and mind and to love others as we love ourselves. Amen.